What is going on, my fellow reefers? March here, Frag Box TV. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about some new corals we got in from Australia. Check this out. Oh my God, I do not know where to uh, where to even begin. There's a lot we haven't had corals here in the store for quite some time. Uh, colonies, like larger colonies like this, we haven't had for a little while. It was really hard to get flights from, from Australia, but finally got this nice shipment in. So I'm gonna walk it, uh, walk you through exactly what's here. Okay, where do we start? I don't know. Uh, how about over in this corner, Blastomusa? Check these out, Blastomusa, Welsi. So two types uh three types of blastos we get here in the store this is the one type the welsi i think which is the more common one or at least more popular for us it looks like this or even this really nice one over here i know tia for sure is going to keep ahead of this because if you're not following the kind of series we have going already she has this really cool fluval evo and over here she's done a really nice job with the exception of this poor dying guy but she's doing this nice little blast of gardens you see so i'm 100 percent certain she's going to take a piece and add it probably somewhere over there. So that's the Welsi, really easy to keep. This is also easy to keep, but this is the Blastomusa merletti. So it's a blasto as well, but you can see it's got tons of little, little heads. It grows um, many, many heads compared to these kind of like coin sized heads that you see here on the Welsi. Thank you, Mr. Copperband, for being uh, our friendly Aptasia eater. And so far, reef safe. Knock on wood, I probably shouldn't have said that. Shit. Got some nice elegance corals in over here. This is the Cataphilia jardine. jardine? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but elegance, that's what we call these. And they're kind of on the smaller side, which is nice actually, if you have a smaller tank. Sometimes you get elegance in that are like the size of footballs, you know, they're like 10 inches across. These are probably about two inches from side to side. And over here we have some Euphilia glabarensis, or more commonly known as torch coral. So as you can see, when they come in, we get quite often these larger colonies, but it's not really practical for us to sell them um, this large for a few reasons. One, they're quite expensive, the size to import them. So they're, they're expensive to purchase them like this and they're hard for us to ship them out again. So once we have them here, it's a little bit tricky, our, our shipping methods at least, to resend these. And people today, like the average tank size, I would say is somewhere between 10 and 50 gallons. So, you know, that, this is actually our most popular tank here in the store that we sell is the Fluval Evo. People just simply don't have the room for these large torch colonies. So a lot of these euphilia that we get in are all going to get fragged up eventually into more um, manageable, smaller, practical pieces of coral. Some cool fungia. We have the long tentacle varieties like these ones, these purple and yellow. And then your standard kind of green plate corals like these ones here. I did order, I think some tongue coral, but I didn't see it come in on this one. As you can see, our, our trusty little numbers are now working and set up all throughout. The People often think that these are actually the prices of the coral. So this one is not $69, haha, -ha, 69. But it is just for us to keep track of stuff on the site. Most of the stuff in this tank, I would say, is around $100, $100 Canadian, so that runs um, about 70 US on a good day, depending on the conversion. So this sort of section here, all about 70, 75-ish per colony. I know that up here in Canada, the prices are quite a lot less than what I think uh, Americans typically pay for coral. Oh, check out this guy, he's so cute. This is the perfect piece for a nano tank. So the egg crate here is like uh, three quarter inches, maybe half, uh, less than that, half an inch across. So you can imagine how tiny this thing is. It's like the size of a quarter. These are Lobophilia, Lobophilia. I haven't seen these in a while actually. Nicest ones come from Australia. These are nice size, color. Got two or three different varieties in. Quite a hard sting though. So like you want to give them room um, away from other corals because yeah, you can't really do a lobo garden. I think if I'm, if I'm correct, you don't, you can't even put them together the way you can with other LPS corals. They need space. This is a coral that doesn't get enough attention in the hobby and we don't get in quite often enough. This is a lepto serus. So it kind of grows like a Monty cap, but it's actually an LPS coral. This is very cool unusual piece that we don't get in often and is uh it often gets glossed over in the store people come in i think their eyes are just naturally drawn to you know the um the brightest things in the tank stuff like this or like this the really iridescent glowing kind of corals the favias over here and then some of the more unique rare 
hard to find unusual pieces like this lepto sometimes get uh, lost in the lost in in the amount of coral that we have here but if you know what you're looking for you can find some really cool and neat pieces okay the acro that we got are so f word nice i'm still not sure if i'm allowed to swear on youtube sometimes i look at a coral and i just want to swear because they're just so damn nice and these are uh yeah these are these are those corals but i think I've, there are so many cool ones here i'm gonna actually do a video talking about the different latin names and species about them on their own so one of the guys that works here dylan has got this weird new obsession with learning the latin names of all of the corals and we test them and it's kind of become this fun game here in the store so i know i'm gonna mess them up tomorrow with this one over here but the acro just to mention that i'm gonna do another video just highlighting the acropora sps on their own what's up jonathan so this is a very weird and rare species of coral i know that dylan tomorrow when we question him is not going to get it because it's a weird one we don't get it in often i don't even know what the trade name is so there's a the question of the day does this have like a common nickname the latin name is i'm going to butcher, butcher this but mosilea mosilea latestellata so that's a mouthful there. I don't know what the nickname is. And you know what? Maybe we should come up with one if there isn't already a trade name for this sort of uh, coral. I thought it was a Goniastria when I first saw it, but it's not because this is Goniastria over here, which is, uh, yeah, it's quite different. This is kind of a cool coral here. This is a uh, Setosa. And I don't know if I read this or where I got this from, but I have this idea in my head. I, I feel like I read it somewhere, but there's no more wild occurring Setosa. I don't know if that's true or if anyone can comment on that in the video. Maybe you ever just have an idea in your head and you're not sure where it came from. Anyways, I feel like I read that, that there's no more wild occurring pieces of Setosa and whatever we have now is uh, it's just an aquarium. So I could be wrong, but I, that's, that's just something I'm going to share with you. Oh, Pavona. This is a weird one here. We don't get in often enough. Cactus coral. It looks really good and it's the orange variety. It kind of looks like, uh, like these big orange clubs. Some Ganipora we get uh, pretty often from Australia, has some of the nicest ones. These are the green varieties. And then we also got this very nice blue one here. I'm going to be uploading just about all of these corals on the website. So I try and like coincide the videos with updates on the site so that if you're watching this and then you see something you like, then hopefully it'll uh, be on the site and you can actually purchase it if you are a resident of this country of Canada. So from every order, there's usually one coral that I'll keep to grow out or add to one of our tanks. And I know this one doesn't look crazy or, you know, it doesn't really stand out. It's just a bird's nest. It's the um, Seria, Seria Tapora Hysteric. So it's like that really spiky bird's nest. But I've seen this thing go the most incredible, incredible hot bubblegum pink. Right now it's bleached to shit, but I'm going to bring it back and then I will show you it again and you'll understand why I kept this coral out of all the other nice little ones that are here right now. Some nice Pasilopora or maybe Stylo actually. What's it? Uh, no, I think this is Pasilop. No. Okay, I might be wrong. Maybe it's Stylo. Okay, I'm confused on this one. Over here we got some really cool Cyphastria. So that's an encrusting LPS coral and I think I saw a really nice orange one as well. Usually if I get a new color in, I'll save a piece and then add it to our farm to grow it out and add it um, to our collection. I've had this one in the past. It gets way, way nicer than this. It gets like a bright orange yellow. Oh, never mind. Look at these. How did I not see these last night? Woo! That is a nice plate coral. Same with this one over here. Here we have some Euphilia Ancora. So that's um, hammer coral, basically. Oh, Ancora is actually the wall species. So this is like, uh, sorry, this one over here. This would be Euphilia uh, Ancora. And then we have a mix of Euphilia divisa and frog spawn and branching hammers all throughout here. These ones are really nice, the orange ones. We only got a few of them in quite a rare color. Way, way nicer in person. And then you can kind of see how they come in, these bigger pieces. And then same thing with the, uh, with the torches. They kind of get fragged down into smaller, more affordable, practical pieces of coral. So we'll work through these over the next couple days or two. This is really nice. Uh, Christmas tree worm rock. And this is the nicest Christmas tree worm rock I think we've ever got in. It's just full, full, full of um, the worms and the parietes that it's on is really nice. It's a really cool color of green, much nicer than some of the other ones we got on. And just, just full from every little crevice, these things are, are coming out. They're so much fun. There's a Galaxia that came in. Unfortunately, does not look too good right now. Hopefully it'll rebound. This side is looking a little bit better, a little bit bleached. Uh, the 
uh, bag it came in was a little bit murky. This Favia though is looking incredible. That's the Dragon Soul Favia. This is a nice big colony, uh, colony right here and some pipe organ. Scolies. Usually we get nicer Scolies from Australia. These ones are nice. They're just kind of uh, standard little red ones. N no crazy candy apples or um, the war paint ones. And then some nice open brain corals as well. This is kind of cool. This is a blue hammer coral here, which is a not a, co a color that you see every day in the hobby. Some open brain, so the Trachephilia Joffrey, I think they, they're called. I, I, if you guys want to keep me twisting my tongue and saying the Latin names, I'll keep doing it. Just let me know in the comments below, and then otherwise I can just say the common name, open brain. This here is probably, hmm, what are you actually? Oh, give me a second, I have to think about that. Maybe Platygyra? I'm not 100% sure, actually. I better look over my list of, of Latin names or, or check online. But we got, this is actually Kepi because this is Platygyra over here. That's what I'm used to seeing. Some nice Favia as well. Some more Favia. Cup corals. Some cool cup corals. Tia's got a little obsession with cup corals right now going on over here in her reefer. As you can see, one wasn't enough. So she put, uh, where are they? Where are the cup corals? Oh, over there. He got two of them. Yeah, they look really good. These, under the right condition, actually are a nice yellow leather. Um, kind of like that yellow Fiji leather. I think this is some cold coral over here and also some Micromusa, some nice mushrooms and Echnophilia, so the chalice corals. Now that one's actually pretty sweet. I might keep a piece of that one for myself. Oh, look at this one over here. This guy looks sweet. Not too much in terms of soft corals. Uh, zoanthids, I think we only got like this one kind of combo rock here with like four or five varieties, but those red and green ones mix in there are pretty sweet. And then this one, which is cool because it's actually blue, which is a, so blue for corals is quite a rare color. And then a true blue on a zoanthid is a very rare color. There's not too many that come in, in the blue variety, but like a really, really blue coral. Um, I'm trying to think what there is. We see blue sponges and blue starfishes, but I mean like a true sky, sky blue. Uh, Ganipora, sometimes you get a nice blue color, but that's a, kind of a tricky color. One of the more rare colors, um, yellows as well, like true yellows. A lot of corals come in green, reds, oranges. Probably the weirdest piece that we got in on this entire order. Okay, sorry, I gotta show you this really cool. That's the Raging River Chalice. That's really nice, blue and red which is a, it's just a cool color combination, but not to get sidetracked. This is um, Astriopora. It gets the weirdest like tentacles that come out of it. It's really unlike any other coral. It looks sort of like, I don't know, kind of like just this green Cyphastria encrusting coral, but when the polyps come out, it's really, really unique. Yeah, I'm really happy with this order overall. Very low DOA. I forgot to show off the sun coral colonies we got. So hold on, let me show you that quick before I wrap up this video like this one over here, the orange variety. I think we got some yellows. This one is really nice. And so is this one over here. But you can see now this tank is full and we better start moving this stuff because we have another order planned from Indonesia following Thursday. So a week from now, it's gonna be more hard corals gonna fill up this tank over here. I'm gonna do another video showcasing the acros we got in. I'm gonna try and ID them, get into the Latin names. I don't know, I think it's fun. This one over here, for example, I'm pretty certain is an Acropora plana. So there's on some nice ice fire enchiladas too, but I'm gonna show you those in the other video. That's it for today's. If you like the content, if you like what we're doing here at Fragbox, hit the subscribe button. We're trying our best to do a video every single day of the week. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV.